zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's find ourselves a killer. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4, 2011. The time is 8.14 a.m. Unrelated to the investigation. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. The heck? <laughs> what was that? All right, where is Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. 
Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. <laughs> okay. All right. Harry Common, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. I guess I've seen everything I'm going to see here. <clears throat> Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Uh, airy comet. Can I get a side of medium fries with that? Airy comet. Okay. A dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Yeah, uh, you don't not say. Yet. Yeah, not yet. Coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Very common. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. coming. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence.
Come on. You got it. <laughs> Good lord. I'm a mess. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. Chevrolet Malibu 83. It may be the killer's car. You have seen all there is to see. Oh. Wow. Alright, where's Lieutenant Blake? There he is. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. We've learned absolutely nothing about the killer.